In this video, we'll look at some of the configuration properties for DataGrid. We will begin with a data grid and add a data source of stock fundamentals, which has a good range of sample data types. Next, we'll run through some of the options Dashboard offers users to interact with their data. The first configurable option is column filters. Global search and basic filtering uses simple string searches to find matches in the data. More in-depth can be defined with multi-select, time, query, or numeric custom filter options. Here we define a selection option for our industry sector column and use a numeric range for a price to earnings column. When we want to interact with the dashboard during the building process, go to Preview Mode, the Design Builder Mode locks interactions. This ability to filter can also be disabled if not used. Screen paging is enabled for when large data sets are used in a dashboard. Grouping allows users to create data aggregations. Here we group the data according to the sector column. As with other user options, this can be disabled. Grouping columns can be collapsed and simple functions applied, such as average, count, minimum, maximum values. Configuration allows users to reorder and hide columns, useful in handling large numbers on columns. Reset returns the configuration to default settings. Column sort determines the dashboard order on load. Here we sort by sector. Each column has its own set of configuration options. We can rename columns and add a tooltip where column widths are too small to display the whole column name. A global editor is available from the header of the column properties. Drag select the columns, then control click the properties in the right to change. Column properties include relative and fixed width sizing. Fixed width is the minimum width a column must have. If there are more columns than can be displayed at the same time, then a horizontal scroll bar appears. In the case of relative width, where all the values are the same, each column will have the same width, adjusting to available space in the browser. Fixed width will kick in if relative width makes the columns too small. For columns containing percentage values, a bar graphic can be overlaid by selecting the percentage format. For large values, such as our market capitalization column, where we have values in the billions, formatting with smart number will make the display data more manageable. We can continue to use the global editor to make format changes and hide columns. Additional visual elements include applying color border highlights for minimum and maximum values. Range color applies a color scheme based on the values, where the color saturation can be flipped to start at high or low values. Selection and routing allows users to pull values from columns and assign them to view state values. To configure, we set the click behavior to use the wildcard so that any interaction with the data grid triggers the mapping. Then, we assign the column from where the value will be taken. And finally, we create the view state to which the value will be mapped. To test this, we can add a text component and set it to display the view state when the user clicks on the data grid. Users can also export their data grid to CSV or Excel files.
Highlight rules are for conditional changes. For example, here we'll change the text font color to red for stocks which have PE ratios above 50. We use the wildcard option to apply this change across all columns. Highlight rules can be extended to use horizontal bars inside the data grid. Before we start, we can remove the existing highlights on the columns should we wish. For sidebar highlights, we're going to use a data column, which we have hidden, that has a set of values between a 0 and 100, where 100 represents the maximum value for the data column we are applying the bars to, and all bar values are expressed as a percentage of that value. So for the highlight rule, we will target the visible column and use the hidden column of relative values as the condition source. The condition operator is set to right to left for P ratio and left to right for forward P. We can also customize the data in our columns using a template. The template editor is available in the data grid column properties. Here we're going to add a bold weighting to our stock symbols. In the template editor, we select the data column we wish to use, in this case sim, and use the basic editor to apply the bold weighting. An advanced mode is also available for custom CSS or for applying handlebar helpers listed under templates in the help documentation. We can use the advanced CSS selector to apply formats to our data grid elements, like the header. Point the element selector at the data grid header and add the CSS for bold font weighting. The widget ID ensures the CSS is only applied to the selected component. We can change the header name if needed. Finally, we enable a tooltip, which will display a summary of all the column information on rollover of a given row. Thank you for watching.